What's up guys, welcome to week 9 of my top 10 Leeson plays of the week. Today's episode is hands down the best in terms of quality of plays. There was honestly so many plays to choose from, and the honorable mentions alone in today's video are all awesome, so I encourage you to stick around after the top 10. I'm also revealing the best play of the last month that you guys voted on. But without further ado, let's jump into this week's number 10 play of the week. Coming in at the number 10 spot, we have a play submitted by Your Mom's Fave. He lands the Sonic Wave on the approaching Master E. He flashes under tower, but this just opens up the Warthop Insect into Taric, lining up the massive Wamo combo as they melt both targets down. And at the number 9 spot this week, we have a huge Wombo combo play submitted by the Argus01. The enemy Rek'Sai engages on the backline, sparking an all-in follow-up from the enemy team, and Lee Sin sees this as an opportunity to get a huge kick to deny the engage, and that gets followed up with the Yasuo Last Breath and the bullet time to absolutely decimate the entire team, all set up by a nasty kick. And moving on to the number 8 play of the week, a play submitted by Yogaton7. He lands the Sonic Wave onto Gangplank, which should be a free kill, but why settle for one when you can get all three as he slips and slides his way to the gin for the sick Warthop Kick Flash combo. And this week's number 7 play of the week was a play submitted by This Lee Can See. The enemy team is trying to disengage, but he lands the Sonic Wave onto Tom Kench and goes in with the 1-2 and a kick flash for you as Yasuo takes the last breath and converts it into a beautiful Lee Sin highlight. And moving on to the number 6 spot, a play submitted by L Dodds. He's cutting off the escape as he heads down bot lane, forcing them to fight, and he pulls off the Sonic Wave Warthop Kick Flash, lands it into the Resonating Strike, and finishes them both off with precision. And moving on to the top 5 of this week, we actually have a tie between Unblinded and Bami. They both pulled off a sick Never Safe Insect combo. And at the number four spot this week, we have a play submitted by Dead Fool Games. Trying to protect his inhibitor tower 3v1, he goes in on Darius and instantly warthops to line up the collateral, melting the Jin, and then lands the max range Q to snipe out Kha'Zix for the double kill as his Draven joins the fight to help take down the Darius, and just before he gets taken down, he lands the Sonic Wave through the minion with Smite and gets the 3 for 0 and without dying. Moving on to the top three, we have a play submitted by Kakarot. Once again, we see Elise in forced to defend the tower alone, and this time he goes in with the fancy QQ kick flash, perfectly hitting the Twitch, followed up with the Warthop to get the AoE damage from his Hydra, as he kills the Twitch and then chases down the cast, and then shortly after to clean them both up. Man, what can I say? Other than that, I am great. I've been out and making songs every single day, and the people want more, so I'm slaving away. Bad equip my job and in my manager, my mixtape. Yeah, this is my passion. Y'all ain't ready for the tape and the game will tap. And I just really wanna make it, man, I'll make it happen. And there's gonna be more than just pointless stab and drop love and I found a new outlet. And at the number two spot this week, we have a play submitted by Iwatobi. Man like Isaac Newton, 
no excuses, I'ma just focus on it Only music, history only wants the contributions I don't think they care about your body count, yeah Getting chased around the enemy jungle, he's just looking for an out, but when Vi gets within Q range, he turns it on them with the Q flash RQ, knocking up the Lucian and evaporating both of them with a single Titanic Hydra auto. That was as clean as it gets. And this week's number one play of the week was a play submitted by Foxy Uncle Grandpa. A huge team fight is taking place at Dragon Pit as the enemy Malzahar gets separated from his team, making him an easy target. As he predicts the flash over the wall to claim his first kill, turns around and picks up the double on Garen and then sees Corky, runs the Q flash RQ combo to execute Corky for the triple, but he's not finished yet. Karthus is a lone soldier trying to kite them out, but even while exhausted, he picks up the quadra. And now all that's left is Zack as he turns his attention to him for the penta. He dodges some skill shots and then smites the blue buff to stay alive from the Karthus passive and gets the final blow for the penta kill. This play was was pack filled with a crazy display of Lee Sin mechanics, so pay attention as we watch this whole play one more time. I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe. That's just how it goes, guess I like the lonely vibe. But they'll never know, cause I'm always on my grind. And I live a lonely life, and I'm never getting stressed, cause I gotta stay. Now I have two bonus clips I want to show you this week, but don't go anywhere after because right after I'm revealing the best play from last month, and we also have some awesome honorable mentions for this week. You get out of there, get out of there. What? What? Woo! -hoo -hoo! It's the fucking kid. And now for the results for the best Leeson play of the month. The winner was play 2B, which was a play made by Outsec. He also has a YouTube channel, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that in the description if you guys want to check him out. He throws out the Sonic Wave onto Fizz, Bardstone lands so he follows it up, Ward hops to Blitzcrank and then kick flashes him and posterizes the Fizz as he pulls off the successful kick flash prediction. Boy was that beautiful. And that leads us into the honorable mentions for the week. I just wanted to say a few things. First of all, as always, the email to send plays to is heismansubmit at hotmail.com, and it needs to be in .mp4 format and of at least decent quality. Also, I got a few submissions of other champions, and while they were pretty good, I didn't receive enough to make a video with them, so it looks like we'll be sticking with Lee Sin plays for now. But I do want to find a way to freshen up the series a bit, so I'm also now taking all Lee Sin failures as potentially a separate series, like the not top 10 Lee Sin plays. So if you guys have any Lee and failures that you made, go ahead and send me those as well to the same email, HeismanSmith at Hotmail.com, and make sure you put fail in the subject line so I know what to expect. I think it could be pretty funny to show Lee Sin fails because for every good play we make, we probably also make a terrible one. But that's it. Keep sending me plays, and as always, till next time. I've been having my ties, I've been loving bad guys, I've been seeking some girls, I've been wanting one more.